Well, how do I get him to chase me? Hey. Oh, okay. That's one way. Come on. Come on. This way. Yoo-hoo. Hey, Mr. Ghoul. I'm guessing I'm doing this right. I don't know. Oh, God. He's throwing blocks at me now. Get over here, man. Yeah, you. Oh, I have to use Ron? Okay. Let's go, Ron. I was trying to use Harry, but... Ah, ha, ha. Get back, foul beast. Harry, get out of the way. I know I put you there, but come on, man. Yeah. Ron saved the day after getting his ass kicked by a bunch of ghosts for an hour. Now leave my friends alone. Yeah, you tell them. Okay. Let's get back to the common room. Yo, Neville definitely could have outran that freaking ghoul. Like, come on, man. That dude was slow. Neville. I'm really annoyed with you right now, to be honest. You have no idea what I had to go through. We're done here. I'm never coming back here ever again. This place sucks. Can we go back now? Please? Yeah, we really can. I went out of here, and I want to never return. Skipping muggle studies for the rest of the semester. That's for sure. I just want to go to bed. Can oh we my go god, now? you're in. Whining is really starting to to grind my gears. After all we've done to save you, I think that's Neville whining. I honestly can't tell. Could be wrong. It's not Harry. He wouldn't whine like that. He's not a whiner. He's just happy to be out from underneath the stairs. Let's go to bed so we can... See what adventures await us on the next day. Never saving Neville ever again. Like, next time he's in trouble, he can just find his own way out because that was annoying. <laughs> that was beyond annoying <clears throat> to deal with those stupid ghosts. Or whatever they were, I'm assuming they're ghosts. I don't know. Who knows anymore? Oh, God. We need to find her. You'll be lucky. No peeves. What do you mean, peeves? A shame your headship, sir, doesn't want to be seen. So I'm running for the landscape on the fourth floor. <laughs> Crying something dreadful. <laughs> Poor thing. <laughs> did she say who did it? Oh, yes, Professor Head. He got very angry when she wouldn't let him in, you see. Nasty temper he's got, that serious black. <gasps> serious black? You mean the deranged murderer from Azkaban? Oh my gosh. He's after Harry. He wants to kill Harry. Whatever and will we do? To that effect, Sir Cadogan will be standing in for the fat lady. No. I know you're all still very worked up about what's happened, but my advice would be for you all to go to bed. Yeah, that's easy for you to say. You didn't have a deranged murderer try to break into your room. Hermione, we do not need any sass right now, so I'm not even going to acknowledge you. I guess we just go... Wait, can I end the day from here? Yes, I can. Good thing I didn't waste my time running up to the bed. Yo, can we get some outside of Hogwarts action going on, man? That's what I want. Let's go to Mythical Creatures. With old Hagrid. Go hang out with Buckbeak. The school talked of nothing but Sirius Black following his assault on the fat lady. But with their first ever care of hey. Mythical Creatures lesson fast approaching, Harry, Ron, and Hermione's attentions turned to Hagrid. Speak of the devil. Hagrid doesn't have a normal person's view of what's dangerous. I'm sure it'll be fine. Let's get to the class early so that we can give Hagrid some support. It's his wow. first lesson, and he's probably more nervous than we are. That's so nice. No, I do not want, I want to be Harry. Not you, Hermione. You stay out of here. Well, I mean, I kind of predicted that. That was a little bit of a guess, but I guess it made sense. You knew we were going to go to Care to Magical Creatures eventually. 
It was only a matter of time. I'm assuming we go outside. Let me just read the directions real quick and make sure. I mean, I'm pretty sure I already know, but yeah. Okay. I kind of figured. Excuse me. Is that a Ravenclaw? What are they doing up here? Need to get off our turf. Freaking Ravenclaws. Better than those Hufflepuffs, am I right? <laughs> Poor Hufflepuff. They just get shit on. Time to go hang out with old Hagrid. Get some fresh air. Been cooped up in this castle for far too long. Uh, entrance hall? I, th Yeah, I mean, it's the only door here, so... I guess. You know what that means. Let's get on out of here. More Ravenclaws, man. We're surrounded. I'm sorry to say it. But all that studying you're doing can't be healthy. Are we still winning? Careful, oh yeah, we're diverse, still winning. You know? We got I a heap of house points. Happen. They're over there hinting at the impossibility of Hermione's class schedule. How is she making all those classes on time? I don't know. It's a mystery. I wonder if we'll ever find out. Or if it'll ever play a key role in the story. I don't know. What's going on here, dude? The frame rate is dead in front of this clock. It's like super dark and gloomy out here, man. Where's all the sunny, nice days? Yo, the frame rate out here is shit. <laughs> Jeez. I hope I'm going the right way, because I really don't know. Just kind of picked the first path and went with it. Got some cool music playing in here, or out here, though. Where are Ron and Hermione? How did I lose them? I'm just kind of observing the ground. Is that Hagrid? Hagrid! What's up, bro? Long time no see. Yo, your hut is tiny. Holy crap, you're bigger than your freaking hut, dude. What's going on here? <laughs> that thing was so small. Uh, that's funny. Obviously, this game is pretty old because. Key up there, meet Buckbeak. Beautiful, isn't he? Now, the first oh, thing you gotta know about hippogriffs is they're proud. You always wait for a hippogriff to make the first move. It's polite, see? You walk towards him and you bow and you wait. If he bows back, you're allowed to touch him. Harry, Ron, Hermione, who wants to go first? Uh, yeah, about that. Let's send Malfoy first. You can definitely tell this game's age based on the outside world of Hogwarts. Because uh, it looks pretty barren. And textureless. Buckbeak doesn't look half bad, though. He did a pretty good... Oh, wait. I'm just going to run up to him? Hello? Oh. Hello, sir Buckbeak. Oh yeah, I got a bow of approval. Yo, I'm riding a hippogriff, boys. Let's go. I expect you'd like to fly him. Uh, we gotta go chase some bats. As many as you can. Oh God. You'll need to give Beaky a bit of a run before he can get airborne. Then just fly at the bats, and Beaky'll do the rest. Yo, this is about to be epic. Let's go, Buckbeak! Oh man, I'm being timed though. What do I do? Do I jump? Do I press anything? Or do I just run? What am I doing here? Okay, I'm just running, man. How do we take off? Okay. Oh. What is happening? Bad things are happening. Okay, apparently we're out of bounds over there. What is this right now? This is an odd... What is this? Oh my. 
What am I doing, dude? I'm barely flying. How do I break? What am I doing? How do I go back? <laughs> I don't know what's happening. Come on, Buckbeak. Did I just, like, break the game? <laughs> this is not great for my first flying experience. I think I broke the game. I'm, like, stuck. Come on, Buckbeak. We still got 20 of those things to catch. Yo, I'm stuck. Buckbeak is <laughs> glitched. Okay. Buckbeak! Come on! You lazy hippogriff! Yeah, he does not, he's not digging this right now. This is like a rodeo. Hippogriff rodeo. How do I... Oh! Oh, I can hold circle? To ex well, why doesn't it tell me that circles to accelerate? What does a square do? Okay, well, I guess circle makes him flap his wings. Oh, I just crashed. Yeah, this is hard. Not gonna lie. It's kind of hard. And I definitely wasted a lot of time thinking that my game was messed up when really I'm just dumb. Did I even get any of those? Come on, we're gonna have to retry this for sure. Oh, I got four there. Okay, this is a lot better now that I know kind of what I'm doing. Swoop in here. I still didn't get any, though. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna fail. Like, that's a given at this point, <laughs> considering our little mishap. But next time I'll get it for sure. Why doesn't the game tell you that Circle does stuff? Like, it shows X to break, but it doesn't show Circle to accelerate at all. Not bad. You might want to get a little more practice. No. I'll give you a C for trying. Oh, wow, I got a C from Hagrid. That's how you know I'm garbage. Good At least I don't have to redo it. Give me a go at that thing. Oh, Simply God. Easy. You're not dangerous at all, are you? You ugly great brute. Malfoy, no! What a little twerp. Get him, Buckbeak. You're not dying, it's just a scratch. <laughs> Leave it to Malfoy to ruin everything. I was over here flying my hippogriff, all majestic-like, getting stuck in midair, but... Then Malfoy just comes along and has to Harry ruin everything. Harry his way to the Quidditch match, unaware that events that day would take an even worse turn. As the Gryffindor team struggled against the weather, Harry caught sight of a giant black dog high in the stands. <laughs> That's not obvious, serious. Eerie silence fell across the stadium, and a horribly familiar wave of cold swept over him. Dementors swarmed over the pitch, and with his mother's screams ringing in his ears, Harry fell from his broom and knew no more. And that's the end of Harry Potter. All right, thank you guys for watching. <laughs> that's how that's how the story ends. In case you've never read or seen any Harry of it, slept restlessly in the hospital wing. No, he survived. Sinking into dreams full of clammy, rotted hands and petrified pleading. He could hear voices whispering, but they made no sense whatsoever. Ron? Quiet! I know where Sirius Black is. He's down in the dungeons. Um, okay. What? Follow me! Uh, I'm in a hospital bed, Ron. Ron. Hello? What? Okay, I don't remember this. Ron is obviously... It's an imposter. And he's trying to lure me. I need... Why? What is going on here? Why does Ron show up when I'm in the hospital bed? After severe broken bones and whatnot. Or something, I don't know. I'm assuming he had broken bones. And uh, he wants me to go... Oh my god, Peeves. 
Oh no!